In this presentation we're going to look at the exponential distribution and in particular we're going to look at a particular tutorial question. So the, this question is, a particular brand of hard disks is designed to last an average of two years. And assume that the lifetimes, which we're going to denote capital T, although sometimes I have a bad habit of using capital X, just watch out for that. Capital T is how I'm supposed to write it. The, and that's the lifetime. So if a lifetime, if a disk lasts, let's say, two years, T is capital T is equal to two. Okay. Uh, we would specify it, as, uh, specify it as follows. T is distributed according to the exponential distribution with a rate parameter lambda. That, and this is what we're interested in first off. So the first question here is, what is the value of lambda? What is the rate parameter? Okay. Now this is relating to the exponential mean, which we're going to denote as mu. Okay. That's how long we expect our um, disks to last on average. The rate parameter, lambda, is uh, the inverse of that. Okay. So lambda is equal to 1 over mu, and that is 1 over 2. So the rate parameter is 1 half. Okay. So that's the first part done. This is just a sort of general bit of theory. The next part is we're going to look at the standard deviation. That's the next question. What is the standard deviation of t? So uh, SD of t is equal to what? Well, let's just sort of go through all the formulas here. This is a couple of things we sort of need to know. The expected value of t, e of t, is mu, or, or otherwise 1 over lambda. The variance of t, now these two ones I have like dotted there, e of t and var, var of t, these are the ones you should sort of know off by heart, is mu squared or 1 over lambda squared. Now we're going to work from that variance formula there, just to get the square root of it. The standard deviation of t is simply mu, uh, also, or 1 over lambda, okay, and in this case that means that the exponential, or sorry, the, uh, for the exponential mean and exponential standard deviation are the same value. Uh, so the, again, the standard deviation of t is 2. Okay. Now, the cumulative distribution function is what we're interested in now. So what we're going to do is some um, uh, formulas. For, uh, so we would denote it as, I'm dealing in terms of capital T, so I have a little subscript capital T there. And what we're interested in here, uh, this is a, this sort of stuff here tends to be given at the back of the exam paper these formulas. Now just as a remark, I am talk using capital T to denote lifetimes, whereas in some uh, books you might have it as capital X. Okay, so I'm just using capital T this time. So F of T, that's the, is the capital F is to sort of signify the cumulative distribution function, CDF, uh, in brackets of X, okay. That's a small X, that should be a small X by the way. Doesn't looks like this. It's, it's, it looks big, but it actually should be small x, and that is equal to the probability of t less than or equal to x. Now, uh, so what we have two cases here: x, this, whichever value we're particularly interested in. If it's greater than zero, then we're using this uh, formula here: one minus the uh, e to the minus lambda x. Okay. if x is greater than or equal to 0, or 0 otherwise. So while the whole thing is important, for for the sake of undergraduate statistics, it's just what I have highlighted is what you really need to know. Okay, that bit. Okay, so let's do a sort of quick example here. And this isn't one of the questions yet, but suppose what is the probability of how uh, what, what what sort of proportion of big container load of hard disks will be uh, uh, no no use after two years? Okay, Cap uh, so what's the probability? The, 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 what's the probability of a lifetime of a hard disk not exceeding two, two or le less than or equal to two? P capital so probability uh, p capital p probability of t less than or equal to two. So in this case, x is equal to two. Okay. And also, so what we're going to do is multiply it by the rate parameter, but the rate parameter is one half. So we have, and we also have a minus sign there. So what we have there is minus a half times two, which is essentially boils down to uh, e to the minus one. So what we have is e to the, uh, one minus e to the minus one, okay? And that is, using our calculator, we will get that to be one minus naught point. 
0.3679 or in other words 0.6321 that's just sort of uh, being uh, using a rounding error in a certain way um, okay so what would the probability of uh, t being greater than two years okay t being greater than or equal to two now this is something that people always ask me how is this the complement of this? What about the probability of t equal to 2? Are we, are we double counting that? Yes, we are, but it's we're allowed sort of... Um, because the probability of x equal to 2 is infinitesimally small, that when you're dealing with uh, continuous random variables, you're essentially allowed to just switch the sign. You're not allowed to do that, switch the direction of that uh, relational operator. You're not allowed to do it with discrete random variables but it's a sort of okay um, in well it's a sort of acceptable when you're talking about continuous random variables probability of t greater than or equal to 2 that is essentially e to the minus lambda x okay and in that case the answer would be 0.3679 uh, just what we have there okay now, let's get into some questions here. And there is my first sort of breakdown. So, what we're interested in is calculate the probability of t greater than or equal to 1. So, it's not even the wrong way. So, probability of t greater than or equal to 1. Well, that is probability of t uh, greater than or equal to 1. That is uh, the exponential of minus x times 1 or minus lambda times 1 okay and that is the x uh, e to the minus 1 half times 1 so it's e to the minus 1 half little bit of calculator work I make it 0.6065 I'll leave it to four decimal places okay um, okay that's the first one. Oh, that's the that's the actual third question. There, calculate the uh, probability of a lifetime exceeding one year. Okay, so sixty percent, which means that thirty nine and a uh, point three five don't last the year, which is not encouraging. What is the probability? The next one is. Let's do this next question here. This is the fourth part. Probability that t does not exceed five years okay t less than or equal to five years okay so no more than five years does not exceed five years and so on so the formula for that is one minus e to the minus lambda x okay and uh, as I sort of said before uh, it's the highlighted part of this formula is all we need really need to work with okay so that's what I'm going from and that is 1 minus e to the minus 1 half times 5 okay or that is equal to 1 minus the exponential of minus 2.5 uh, my e to the minus 2.5 again a little bit of calculator work so that is uh, 1 minus uh, working that out, I, I can go to just leave it as 0 0.0820. Okay, I have the four decimal places, and so that works out to be 0 0.9180, 91 percent that will not last um, more than five years. Okay, so. What did I say the last time? Sorry, well, I, I, I made a silly So, 60% uh, will last more than one year. Sorry, just a. Uh, and 39% will not last the whole year. So, I like, can't remember what I. I made some remark there earlier on. And I just. Uh, can't remember what I said. I might have been remarked upon the wrong one. Now, the next part. Calculate. This is the uh, fifth part. Calculate the probability of 2 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 5 ok 
Okay. Now there's a good bit of work in this. First off, what we should do here is uh, use the uh, what uh, this is an interval. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is draw out the number line. Okay. And what we're interested in if this is zero, two, five, and infinity. Okay. Now, what is the probability of being in this region here? Okay. Having a lifespan between two and five years. What is the probability of being within that region there? It is the complement of being within this region here and this region here. Okay. And this region here is the probability of x less than or equal to two. And this region over here is the probability of x greater than or equal to 5. Okay? Now, what we did earlier on is that we found that the probability... Oh, essentially, if you, well, let's just check back here. That the probability of x greater than or equal to 5 is the complement of this in part 4. Okay? So it's the complement of that value there and actually it's actually inside the calculation already the complement of not uh, 0 0.9180 is 0 0.0820 so what is the probability of t being greater than or equal to 5 years is 8.2% so we're going to use that there not point 0.8 not point not 820 okay uh, the probability of x less than or equal to 2 we actually did calculate that one earlier so I'm just going to sort of go back to that t less than or equal to 2 we found that to be 63.21 percent okay so that 63 percent were I'll just sort of highlight what that, that's the value there probably of t, t less than or equal to 2 they can have negative duration so 0 to 2 probability of x less than or equal to 2 so uh, and I'm using x there I should be using t pardon me sorry capital T there this is a sort of bad habit okay that is not point six three two one okay now all three of these uh, sort of uh, values here should add up to one okay so this is the too low zone this is the too high zone okay and the inside or being inside the interval is the complement of those two so it, what we're interested in the probability of being inside this interval is one minus the probability of being outside the interval and that is one minus the probability of being too low plus the probability of being too high and that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6321 plus 0 0.0820 okay so all we have to do now is a little bit of calculator work so let's make a bit of space there so there, there we have it and that is 1 minus uh, I'm just going to sort of stick with the numbers I have there you can actually might sort of if you're doing this in the calculator you might get slightly different numbers not 0 0.7141 or in other words not 0 0.2859 okay so that is the most of this tutorial question done but there's actually a little bit left and but this just this video is getting a little bit long so I'm just going to sort of cut it there uh, okay